as we know that uh, a rotation operator r alpha beta gamma commutes with j square element j square component commutes with with j square then they must have the same eigen state so uh, as the eigen state of j square is j comma m then we can say r alpha beta gamma j square when acts on jm state gives us jj plus 1 r alpha beta gamma means uh, total angular momentum remain conserved on the rotation when it is acting on jm state however the z component of uh, z component of total angular momentum z component of angular momentum change under rotation unless the rotation uh, unless the axis of rotation is along the z axis okay so the rotation uh, rotation operator when x on the jm state so the rotation operator when acts on the jm state gives us the same value of j but the different value of m uh, which can be written as uh, like this dash minus j so we can represent this rotation operator when acts on the jm state is uh, uh, somewhat like this minus j to plus j and uh, j comma m dash which is nothing but uh, our entity operator in which we have the same value of j but the but the different value of m dash because uh, z component of angular momentum changes on the rotation simply r alpha beta gamma j m here uh, say j comma m dash j comma m dash r alpha beta gamma j m is equals to d j m dash m d j m dash m ok see this be a uh, magnitude sorry this is not an operator this is a whole matrix the magnitude so which can be simply written as j m is equals to dj m dj m dash m j comma m dash so the eigen state uh, uh, change under the rotation operator of the jm the same uh, same value of j with a different value of m dash where you know that uh, dj m dash m is nothing but uh, the matrix of these elements and uh, this we called Wigner D matrix. Uh, Wigner, Wigner D matrix, and the elements of this Wigner D matrix are known as Wigner functions. Okay, so now uh, this is whole uh, the representation. Uh, this is whole as also referred as the two J plus one dimensional irreducible representation of a rotation operator for the R alpha beta gamma rotation operator. Uh, since jm is an eigen state of uh, since jm is an eigen state of jz so it must be an eigen state of ev i alpha beta by ev i jz ev i alpha jz by h so it must be the eigen state of uh, this because uh, they both commute with each other okay so i am solving uh, this thing here so dj m dash m equals to j m dash we know the rotation operator the Euler rotation is simply e v i alpha j z by h cut and uh, next one is e v i sorry minus e v minus i beta j y by h cut last one e v power minus i gamma j z by h cut 
done जी है that's what I have just put the value of the rotation operator here uh, which is from our previous video you can check uh, that video if you didn't know about this uh, the Euler rotation so um, basically this was just a Euler rotation notation okay so when it acts on uh, it what it gives it basically gives us e to the power minus i m dash alpha plus m gamma but it left the jy component because we do not know that how it will act on this it's not in our knowledge right now e to the minus i beta jy by i squared yeah. okay now uh, dj dash this little quantity equals to this will be equals to this then dj m dash m equals to e the power minus i m dash alpha plus m gamma dj m dash m beta okay so on evaluating this I'm not solving this quantity uh, in a, I'm not solving this quantity whole I'm just writing it as simply the uh, clear general expression for this small dj m dash m is equals to minus m dash plus k minus m under root j plus m factorial it's so hard to learn to memorize it I know as for the sake of knowledge you can uh, search it out on that if you want to know more about this or you can simply k to j plus m minus k to your and k plus m dash minus m k to your this is also a factorial into cos beta by 2 2j plus m minus m dash minus 2k and sine beta by 2 m dash minus m plus 2k see the summation here summation here is taken such that uh, none of the arguments in the factorial of the denominators of so the denominators are negative so this is taking into consideration before putting this summation here okay now we can uh, note that the d function uh, the d function which is this Wigner d for the Wigner d matrix now the d function is a joint eigenstate of j square and jz then j square dj m dash m when x on uh, of uh, dj m dash m of function alpha beta gamma when x on the jm state gives us jj plus 1 h cut square dj m dash alpha beta gamma and when jz component with dj m dash m acts on the gm gives us h cut m dj m dash m of alpha beta gamma simply for the j plus minus dj m dash m equals to h cut j plus minus m for this plus minus j minus plus m plus 1 with dj m dash m plus minus 1 okay 
after there are some properties of d function properties of d function first property is that the conjugate of uh, this d function dj m dash m alpha beta gamma and uh, we know that uh, the value of this dj m dash m is uh, here here it is after complex conjugate this we will get that complex conjugating this we came with jm r inverse alpha beta gamma j comma m dash and uh, this can be written as uh, j comma m r minus alpha minus beta minus gamma j comma m dash dj m m dash nothing minus gamma minus beta minus alpha simply okay next property is that the d function is unitary in relation somewhere dj km dj km alpha beta gamma with dj km k dash k dash sorry k dash m alpha beta gamma equals to del k k dash or and dj m k alpha beta gamma complex conjugate dj k dash m m k dash alpha beta gamma equals to del k k dash you can simply show this uh, how you know that the value of dj dj m dash m is equals to this so you can easily write this as uh, dj j comma m or alpha beta gamma jk star j m r alpha beta gamma j k dash now complex conjugate of this is equals to j k r alpha beta gamma j m j m the summation is going on with them so, beta gamma j k dash now simply this will become an entity operator and after that this will become a one by the rotation operator property and we end up with this j k j comma k dash which is simply equals to del k k